Welcome back everyone, I'm Nick, as you probably already know if you're following this course. And in this video, we are looking at the color picker. So in the last video we did a general picker, but this one is a built-in SwiftUI component that is made specifically for picking colors. And as you're gonna see, it is not only very easy to implement, but it is so useful because it allows our users to pick from literally any color in the world and add that into our app. Let's take a look. So we're back in our Xcode project and let's create a new file for this video. Right click the navigator, new file. I've said this a hundred times in this bootcamp, so I hope you're getting used to it. It's gonna be a Swift UI view. And we're talking about the color picker, so let's just call it color picker bootcamp. This is gonna be a super short, super easy video. Once you're inside, click resume on the canvas. And the color picker is exactly what it sounds like. It's a way to let users pick a color in your app. So let's start by adding a Z stack. Open the brackets and we're going to add a background color. We'll do color dot red and we'll call dot edges ignoring safe area all. So we have a nice background to our view. And then on top of this background, let's add another layer with a color picker. And we'll open the parentheses to get the completions here. And we're going to look for the one that has a string protocol and a selection that is color and supports opacity options. So string protocol, selection of binding color and supports opacity boolean. Hit enter on that. And very simply, the title, let's just add select a color. Selection, let's put it on the next line and supports opacity, we'll put on the next line just to keep it nice and clean. For the selection, we are going to bind this to a color. So let's add that variable at state var. We'll call it background color of type color and we'll set it equal to dot green to start. Let's replace the background from the color red to background color. And let's bind it to our color picker with the money sign background color. And then the supports opacity basically just lets us decide if we want users to be able to pick only colors at 100% opacity, so totally opaque, or allow them to add opacity to the color. So let's just put true just to check it out. Let's click resume on the canvas to see if it loads here. And we have our label here, as well as the color picker on the right side. Now I'm gonna make this look a little bit better. Let's add a background to the color picker. We'll do dot background, maybe color dot black. Let's change the font. We'll do dot foreground color dot white. Dot font, we'll do maybe headline. As you guys probably realize, headline is my favorite font. Uh, and then let's add some padding. So first let's add some padding before the background. So we'll do dot padding. And then let's add some padding after the background. We'll do dot padding. And here we'll just do maybe uh, 50. So the color picker is in the center. And let's add some corner radiuses. So after we add that background, let's do dot corner radius of 10. So we have our really cool color picker here. And when we click play on the live preview, we can then open the color picker. And unfortunately, uh, you actually can't click on the label to open it. I, can't, I haven't figured out a way to actually get it to open when we just click on this select the color or the whole button. But if we actually click on the circle on the right side, it will open up this super awesome color picker. And this is perfect for us as developers because first off, it took literally like one line of code to get this color picker into our app. And secondly, this now lets our users literally pick any color that they want in the world. So we ha they have all these default colors to pick from. And because we added the supports opacity as true, we have this opacity slider at the bottom. And then they can even go to the spectrum to get any color at all. And of course they can use sliders. If they wanna put in their own hex color, they could do that here. This is absolutely perfect if you ever have a situation where you want your users to be able to pick any color that they want and use that as maybe the theme or a background color in your app. And once they pick the color, let's do this pink one. All you have to do is press the X button. 
and it will disappear. And as you noticed that the picker was binding to the background color and we had the background color as the background in our view. So not only did this little picker circle update, but the whole view background updated and it looks awesome. So this was a super short video. That's pretty much all we're doing. We just wanted to explore the color picker basics. Uh, this is an awesome feature because it again allows our users to pick any color in the world. And before they added this color picker to Swift UI, it was really, really difficult to add a feature for your users to pick any color in the world. So this now saves us a lot of time and effort with this handy dandy color picker. So thank you guys again for watching. As always, I'm Nick, this is Swiftful Thinking, and I'll see you in the next video.